Hello, this is Tony Hiller from RealClimateScience.com. Mark Twain said, I am personally acquainted with hundreds of journalists, and the opinion of the majority of them would not be worth tuppence in private. But when they speak in print, it is the newspaper that's talking. The pygmy scribe is not visible, and then their utterances shake the community like the thunders of prophecy. We see this principle in action every day, with the pygmy scribes spreading misinformation on almost every topic. Yesterday, the Associated Press said, hottest year ever, what can be done? Plenty, more renewables and nuclear, less methane and meat. It's pretty impressive how much misinformation they can jam into 16 words. The hottest year ever scam has apparently been in the pipeline for a long time, and journalists are having a tough time adjusting to what's actually going on in the real world. We're now facing historic cold. The next few weeks will be among the coldest on record in the United States. The pygmy scribes of the press are apparently having a difficult time keeping up with reality. They're going to have to quickly make the transition from their hottest year ever scam to their record cold is caused by a global warming scam. But the pygmy scribes appear to be a bit confused right now. NBC News is reporting today in very technical terms that the U.S. is missing a ton of snow. And at the same time, the press is telling us that there's a winter storm warning for 13 states across America. After being above normal for months, northern hemisphere snow cover dipped for a few weeks, but now it's just about at the 1967 to 2023 average. Across the Northern Hemisphere, autumn and winter snow extent has been increasing for almost 60 years. This is because cold Arctic air is penetrating further and further south, causing precipitation which used to fall as rain to now fall as snow at lower latitudes. This causes the area of land covered with snow to increase, which is what these graphs show us. But this video wouldn't be particularly interesting if I didn't show you what their next scam was going to be. They're going to claim that the record cold and snow is caused by the loss of Arctic sea ice. This will be particularly entertaining for me because Arctic sea ice extent is currently the highest in 20 years and it's higher than it was in 1996 when Bill Clinton was president. This week in 1996, New York City had one of their largest snowstorms on record, and for the entire winter they had 75 inches of snow. Toto loves to play in the snow, and he also loves to make fun of the pygmy scribes known as journalists. You can visit Toto and his family on the web at realclimatescience.com.